Another month in another Power BI update, this time for May 2024. Let's get started. The modern tooltip has now been set on by default, in case you see that it's not looking the same way it was before. And this is actually from last year, but just a reminder that it auto scales. If you have set that option on, you go to options, report settings, and then tooltip auto scale and set it on. The matrix has got new layouts to match the layers that we've known from Excel. So it has the compact, the outline, and the tabular one. And the same as in Excel, we have the option now to repeat row headers if we want to make it look like a table and to add blank rows. Lovely. We have to do Power Query tricks before. No, we don't need to do it. The blog doesn't do a very good job explaining the new line style capabilities. So let's go through them. So the line before, if you want to hide it, you have to toggle the visibility. You don't need to do now, that now. You can just show and hide. One thing to bear in mind here, though, is that the line remains active. So when you hover over it, the tooltip would actually show the information about the line. And that could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. I wish they would actually introduce a setting where you say disable that on the, to the tooltip too. But it's the start. So they are giving us now the possibility to customize a line style. And this is perfect when you want to, you know, differentiate like periods of time. You could say, for example, like forecasting is a one clear example that this is the normal, you know, this is data that we have, historical data, this is data that we predict will come. And then it's nice to have a different line style for that. And they are also introducing the auto scale for this custom pattern. So it will scale as you scale your canvas, which is quite nice. It will also happen for reference lines, forecast lines, and leader lines. Also for the custom lines, you have the possibility to control the dash cap online. So you can say this is squared, or is it round, or is it flat? So very, very nice. Love the options. So there are also some advanced line style features for mainly the forecast and leader lines where you can change the line style, the color transparency, interpolation settings, and so on. You can also have custom line style settings for the X and Y. I don't see that you can change the line width, and I wish they would introduce that because that's something that I've needed many, many times. But yeah, hopefully soon. Small multiples, waterfall, and matrix have got on object formatting support. You can now publish to folders from Power BI Desktop. It is in preview though, so make sure that you turn that on. Not sure why they would put that on preview though. For fabric capacities, they have launched the Copilot chat. I've given it a go. Don't bother, it's actually not good at all. It just brings you bar charts or counts and sums. So not very useful. It will get there probably, but it's not there now for sure. But they have launched the cool pilot for DAX, and that thing is actually much, much better. If you have a fabric capacity, go and check it out because you have to be very, very careful because when you ask for things, it might look convincing, but the data, you know, the way that it's creating the DAX is not exactly what you need. But regardless of that, if you are careful and you check your measures, it will actually help you write DAX. It will give you at least an idea of how you can tackle the problem, even if it didn't go right from the beginning. So the co-pilot DAX is actually very, very nice. There is a new Manage Relations dialog, and these you will only need if you have big models. What it allows you is, for example, to search for many-to-many -many relationships, to auto-detect. And I don't think if you have a big model, you will use auto-detect. I try to stay away from it for big models. But anyhow, this is a way for you, for big models, to be able to find things quicker. If you had saved a Power BI file on OneDrive or SharePoint and your admin had enabled that, you were able to view, view them without actually having to download the file, which is works quite nice. But there was a lot of bads and it was only for import mode. So now it is by default on, which is very, very nice. And it works for live connected semantic models. So great, great improvement check it out. And when it comes with the PowerPoint integration, now you have the possibility when you embed a Power BI report into a PowerPoint to decide you want to live, 
you want a private snapshot, which means that only people that have access to the report can see the snapshot, or a public snapshot, which means that anyone that opens the Power BI or the PowerPoint will actually see the snapshot. So this is all for this month. For me, the favorite thing is that they are actually now improving the matrix and the tables. It really, really is needed. So I'm really looking forward to that. Do you have any favorite feature that I have not mentioned or that I've mentioned? Let me know in the comments below. See you soon. Bye.